somebody's camera just been sitting out here for a couple that, days or that was me i was getting what? an extra long time lapse <laughs> Oh, wait. Man, it's morning, dude. It's morning, saw it. This morning we got up in there. Well, nothing happened, really. We sat in for a couple hours, and we said, you know what? It's useless. Might as well just get up and go get breakfast. Well, let me tell you about what happened to me. You you guys missed because you were facing this way. But I rolled out of the truck this morning. Dude. Into the mud. <laughs> let, me, let me go reenact this for you. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Cause this morning I was hoping you did. All right, man. How okay. to go down here? Okay. So I'm riding along this morning and it's dark. Going up to this mud patch area. Rough so mud. I, I'm like sitting on the big cooler now. I'm sitting on the big. I had my bow just like this and it was kind of <laughs> cold. So I put my hands in my pockets and I just had like my knuckles over the strings right here, so I couldn't go anywhere. And then I started to feel the turbulence. You know how like you ride that bull and it's like you go the bull goes one way and then you try to like stay yeah. on that side hit another one of these yeah. and I'm over here and dude I just it's like I'm floating slow motion I grab the bow and I kind of I was trying to be protective of the bow and at the same time I was thinking this thing has some arrows on it that I don't want to be like pointing straight up so yeah. I kind of just went like that and went flat like into the mud and then I rolled over on top of it, and it was like really tall grass. So it was, <laughs> it was like very smooth. All I know is we were just like <laughs> halfway we were stunned, up this mud hole. Just standing there, <laughs> <laughs> it was rolled out like this. And, and you're I, just like, hey man. And, and I was like, embarrassed. My on, I was embarrassed. So I just kind of, y'all were like 30 yards up there, and I just kind of walked up. They were like, hey. what are you doing? Yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> well, oh. I rolled out about 40 yards back there. I wish we would have <laughs> had a camera on that. Yeah. GoPro back here. Dude, look at the little bow. I know. I don't know if that's, dude. It's like all up in the cams and stuff. Starting the morning off with a banger. Literally. If you're familiar with being like that half of sleep feeling, uh, you can probably relate to this. I've been in boats and trucks sometimes on outdoor trips where I'm just kind of like sleepy. I fell out of a truck today. Rolled out. So <laughs> you guys get to hear the story. Unfortunately. No one was rolling on it. I'm okay. I think my bow's okay. I still need to shoot it. And another morning of just lacklusterness. I did see a red stag cow though, which was insane. Like if I hadn't known that there was red stags out here, I probably would have said it was like an elk or a giraffe. I don't know. It just looked so big, so much bigger than a deer. Now it's time to go do what outdoorsmen do. I'm gonna go survey the land during the middle of the day and see if anything else is popping out after all these Recent rains, things might have switched up. This full moon, y'all, not good. It's not good for fishing, it's not good for hunting, unless you're night hunting for hogs or something like that. But it's tough right now, it's real tough. We gotta grind out, y'all. So, let's go do what we do. Let's go survey the land, let's make some preparations, and hopefully they're gonna be moving this evening. Just getting that mullet. Trying to find some new spots right now. Normally this pond, I was told, is just dry. It's not underwater at all, so it just shows how, how much water's been entered into the land recently. And this is central Texas, so it's really hard. There's a lot of like white rock, limestone, that sort of thing, a lot of cedar trees. It's pretty, it's pretty land for sure. It's also at the same time kind of harsh country. A lot of a lot of cactus, a lot of thorns. I don't know what kind of bumps are ahead, but I'm gonna try to stay in the truck today. See, see how good I can do. It's like a very hefty food plot. Oh, there's tracks. Nice this one. Yeah, that's good. Fresh tracks, for sure. If there's gonna be a buck, I would say no. I think they're smart. They ain't gonna go out in that field. That's just me. You never know, but. I think we need to. I think we need to sit here tonight. Or we can put Justin in the stand and then you can go somewhere else. I trust your judgment. We've done our surveying of the land. I think we're gonna end up hunting 
this food plot all of us together and it's really set up for rifle but there's a bunch of acorns that have dropped on the edges of the food plot there's uh, obviously the food plot's got some some stuff growing in it um, and there's two big box blinds one on each side this ought to be interesting that way we can uh, both be hunting in the same area we can communicate uh, I don't think we'll be able to see each other but we'll definitely be able to communicate uh, you know, deer on this field are coming out. I think they're going to come out right at dark. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to get a shot with a bow, but hopefully they'll come in close enough. It's just where we saw a lot of activity, a lot of tracks on the ground, a lot of movement, if you will. The only thing I need to make sure of is that batteries are charged on all my cameras, and that bow is going to shoot straight at a good yardage. I'm talking probably 40 or 50 yards is going to be where I'm thinking. Is going to be a comfortable shot out here out of these box blinds and since i dropped my bow in the mud this morning after a little truck tumble i need to make sure that it's still on so let's take a few shots make sure she's still bullying it up moving a little earlier kind of what I was thinking with the full moon just saw a nice seven or eight point out there on the end of that field Woo! this is a little sketchy in the back of this flatbed right now with all this gear I'm holding I gotta put this down guys we gotta sit and stand we gotta get ready Y'all, this is, this is hunting, not killing. So, unfortunately, I had my camera set up right in the middle of where I thought the deer were gonna come out. The deer, as you guys saw, came in from the right. When they got to the middle of the field, 
they saw something, smelled something, didn't like it. They weren't looking at me. They were kind of looking across the way over towards the hill and they just, they put that daggum white tail booty up and they, they hightailed it. But one loser of the group or loner or uh, what do you call that? The misfit of the group, little tiny little thing came over, sat on the corn right in front of me right on the third pile of corn where I did not have the cameras facing. Ate there for about five, six minutes and then just kind of leisurely walked across the field back. Should I have shot it? I don't think so. Hill country deer are small for sure. I just felt like I was, I was gonna take a juvenile life. I'd probably only get like 20 pounds of meat off that thing. What are you laughing at? There's one little buck that came in after dark. It was so dark in my blind. Definitely couldn't see the pins. It's after shooting hours. Boys roll up. I'm thinking, man, hopefully outlaw down one, but it was a no-go, guys. They saw one six point. They said. He was super weird, though. What do you mean he was weird? Dude. Uh, he was like. Like, like a, he wasn't like an forward. Awkward? He was like backwards. Huh? Yeah, it was super weird, man. I spotted him like, like probably 20 minutes before dark. I looked at him and I was like, what the hell is wrong with this dude? Dude, what are we gonna do? I don't know, man. We got so many options. All I know is these beans are wrecking my system. <laughs> <laughs> One thing's for sure, y'all, here at Deer Camp, I'm gonna eat good. Got beans, we got uh, steak, a couple cervezas, but those are for celebration times. This is now is when we should have just we should be cleaning deer and drinking beers. Yeah, I know. You know, and now we're just kind of like, dang. We're gonna regroup. We're gonna get back after it in the morning. I mean, we might go to a different place. We're just trying to fill it out. We're making phone calls. Mike's on the phone trying to, everybody's kind of saying the same thing though. Not seeing the deer. We will feed our bellies, feed our brains, and we'll think of what to do next in this outdoor life.